level this flat I'm using some 36 grit paper and a block of wood. It's a little, little, little lumpy. This will this will help flatten it right up to the edge, which is necessary. And it'll also be a good clean gluing surface. So I'm done with this pretty soon. Good idea. Hey, we're just uh, playing this down. With 36 grit sandpaper here. And it's pretty clean. So now I'm gonna do a cold run. Cold glue, no glue at all. Glueless run. Putting it in the case here. So, I'm gonna do that. Okay, it's all clamped in. There's no glue yet. This is the cold run. I gotta put the heater on here tomorrow morning and I'll be ready to glue this probably in a couple hours after the heat is on. It's gotta be warmed up first. But it's looking pretty good. Our seam here matched well. It's got some veneer missing. I might be able to put some in there. That's a, a lot missing. I'll put some chunks in here. Other than that, we'll be ready to go. Big green came out good. You can make anything rosewood. Here, give it a little more time than that at it. But right now, this, the seam here is perfect. And these are good. This is the original part going back in. Pretty good. Remember, the other one was pulling away from here. It was like an eighth of an inch down. This whole thing went down. And that's why it failed. So here we go. Okay, the dry run. Everything looks good. I gotta mark these where they go. See, it helps. Put a little mark there. So when the, we have to move fast and put these in place because of our hard glue, we wanna be messing around fumbling where they go. So that's where it goes, right there. And we're gonna heat this up now, nice and warm. Tape off our pin block so we don't get any glue in there. And then we'll be okay. Hopefully. Okay, just before we glue up, we've shown this before in other videos, everything has to be heated up. And uh, over the years, it takes time. I just stuck this in here. That's good. We don't want it to go up more any higher than that. Still climbing a little bit. I just stuck it in there, but the heat's coming out of here. This hole. See, it goes in there. You have to heat the whole thing up. And the heat's blowing under the pin block into this channel here, this paper channel. Oops, sorry. And get your glue ready. That only takes 40 seconds in a microwave. That's how we use to hide glue all the time. <laughs> you can't use a glue pot and do this. So we mix the glue up and uh, throw it in the microwave and we keep it handy. And just before this is done, we need about 50 seconds to get the glue ready. And it's good and hot. So, there we have it. And everything's ready to go. The final moment. Hopefully it goes right. Okay, we're ready to glue this. I had to shut the heat down while the, while the glue was getting ready. It's ready in the microwave. But we had this here. It was almost 140 degrees. It's, uh, the shellac melts at about 126 or 30. So I gotta watch it. I don't wanna bubble my finish under there. Right there. That's hot. So we'll turn this back on again. And uh, we're gonna glue this. So I'm not gonna film it because it's kind of boring. 
everything's set up there. I'll show you after. Okay, the aftermath. Took a couple minutes to glue it up, and that's it. We just gotta wipe the glue up now out of the corners here. And under there. Well, we can do that after if we don't get it all right away. But it went on good. And we'll wait till tomorrow for this, to unglue this. It went together really well here. We got a few gaps of some, some pieces of wood chipped off, but we'll take care of that. Take care of everything. We gotta tighten up that screw under there, see it? Can't do that yet. Here's our veneer. After all this time, you're gonna see how it fits on here. It's gotta go on here. See how that fit there? That's a factory fit. This is the original. And this is in the right place. Wonder why they didn't fill that in. Yeah, well. It goes underneath the music, I mean, the uh, music desk uh, slider thing here, so. So, now we got to glue that veneer on there. Because it goes under this. Okay. Right, let's, let's get on with it. Okay, it fits. Even got that little piece there. Right there. Goes in. Fits there. Look at that. Fits pretty good. This rosewood doesn't shrink as much as a lot of other woods seem to. Maple seems to shrink a lot. So this is going to look pretty good. See, this is going to give us our placement to cut our hole for the for the uh, the the lock. And over here is good. Over here, I got a piece missing. I have to go and find that. That's kind of upsetting, actually. And what else we got? Oh yeah, this has to fit here. Something like that. I do have the veneer for here, somewhere. And this side here, I have to do a little chiseling on here. It's gonna take a little fitting, but you can see right where it goes. And then it's going to look pretty good. This is going to blend nicely with this. This needs to be a little bit more shading, perhaps, to make it look like that. A little more red, maybe a little more black, just a little bit. But we'll wait till this is done. So I have the color on here before I match it to this over the edge. So there we have it. We'll get on with it. Well, 33B again, we went and dug uh, this piece of wood here. It was getting wet out in the garage, but we're going to cut that off to the size of the veneer. And now that the veneer is patched up, holding it together with tape, paper tape, we're going to make an outline, cut that out on the bandsaw to make a press for the veneer. We need this heavy duty stuff here. And we're gonna glue it on here. But this has to be leveled first. This is uh, cross banding under piano tops uh, under the, the finished veneer. This is uh, goes between the core and the mahogany or rosewood or whatever they got on top. And uh, it's a softwood, most of it poplar, I think. And after it was glued on set, this was surfaced to get it nice and flat, very softwood, very stable. And so the thin finish veneer has a good flat surface to lay down on. So that's what we're going to do. Flatten that out first and then okay, we'll glue it on. Should feel like you're really getting somewhere with 
33B again. Okay, we got a level I see that. That's some serious sandpaper, 36 grit here. And a nice flat piece of wood. Bubinga, huh, for a sanding block. Not only does it flatten it out, ripples this way, but gets it ready for our glue, which is gonna be just wonderful. Okay, I'm going to continue this until it's nice and flat, and that's going to be a good surface for our delicate antique old uh, rosewood veneer. Now, what do we got here? Oh, it's all taped up. Yes, to hold it together. Our 150-year-old rosewood. We might have some to match this, but we got this piece. I wish I had this piece. This little piece is missing. I can't find it. It might show up. I hope so. I hope so. We can glue it on. But anyways, how we glue this on here is not so easy. I have little pieces of wood here. Little hammer shank, uh, upright piano hammer shanks, just the right size. And see, now this is all nice and flat. It's very level with that block of wood, 36 grit paper, and the surface is just nice and scoured for our hide glue. Oh, and here's a hole for locating the veneer. When you're doing this glue up stuff, it's always an anxiety to not know where you're where your veneer is, and if it's sliding around with the glue on there. So we're gonna put some of these in here. If I can grab a hold of it, there we go. That goes in here. Give me a second. Anyways, these go in there like this. Oh, yep, that one's going in. See, it'll, it'll go down by itself. So you don't want it to go down too easy, but what we're gonna do is we locate our veneer with this, with the help of the tape and the existing wood under there and we tapered the top of these so when it comes time to glue this on there they go on fast and there's one at each end right there and those uh, stay in there they just press down with the clamping block we're going to put on here and then they can they can stay there for well forever little maple shanks they're real handy so that'll stop our veneer from moving around and you know it has an overhang here and over here so the core shrunk this piece this whole thing shrunk this way that was probably that was part of the problem with the failure of this whole piano uh, pin blocking to begin with everything was shrinking around and moving Okay, so we're going to get ready to, uh, we're going to do a dry run again. No glue and clamp the heck out of it and then see what it looks like. Oh, here's the aftermath of gluing this. Looks good. See, the edges came out nice. Very good. And the paper here little you can feel it it's cold that means there's moisture still in it even though i glued this let's see uh hmm, yesterday about three o'clock what's it have been about 20 hours 18 hours ago but i'm happy that it came out nice like this it's very good 
I got my cross banding here. I'm going to have to color, but that's easy. I just might put a piece of veneer over the end here. We'll see. Looks good. Even the piece that was missing. I'm going to put a piece in there. I might find that. Hopefully I will. We're going to wait for this to harden up now. Let the moisture come out of here. Before I do this with hot water and a rag. But we have the original piece now. Now I can put my uh, my ends on here. And these pieces we have. So, so let's do it. I think I can put this together now. I need a GoPro or something to stick this to my head like this right here so I can see. Anyways, here's what the parts we got. We seem to have them all. I assembled them before and put them together and see here's one corner here's the two corners see how they the gold is on the edge you know they painted the plate after they put it in the case everything has a bronze powder on the edge i thought that was uh, one of these goes here anyways that don't go there we need this piece we need this piece and these, all these pieces fit together. This one goes here, like so. We have everything. And this is the original finish on here. I'm going to leave that there. That's pretty cool. And this piece here. Oh, yeah, these are made of solid rosewood. God, these are beautiful. Let's see what they do. They go over here. And it's a good thing we have a lot of rosewood uh, veneer for this. Everything goes back pretty well, though. It's amazing how this fits. This piece. Press the button by mistake. Here is the... Still got the rosewood veneer in the back. That's good. And it fits here. Perfect. Okay locks right into the the surface like well like it belongs there and then we're gonna put this one here i think we have all the pieces here i hope so this could be oh yeah very nice and this one goes here like that so we're gonna glue these here now and I think I'm going to have to put a piece of veneer here first. Right there. Get the right thickness so I can get rid of this shatter here. We'll run the veneer behind it the same thickness as this. So it comes up and then this one will go over it and lock right in and you won't see it. It'll look nice. I think we have this. I didn't see it around. I hope so. <sighs> well, guess what? Looks like we had these pieces. It's a good thing. This one here. These are important. Let's get back here a little bit and see what we did. So we had these all taped up on a board to keep them from getting broken when the piano was apart. I have this piece. Oh, this is really important, this piece. It goes here. On top of this. So we have all of that. That is just wonderful. think it goes this way I guess oh yeah look at that right up to there and over here we have this piece so we have the whole cap to go on there and we'll put a little piece in here a piece of rosewood I guess I got some stuff like that this is a uh, very difficult to match we we don't have an awful lot of this stuff 
However, we do have like an 1858 Chickering, two of them around here that are junk. So if I have to, I can get some special stuff off of those. We have all of this stuff here on those junk pianos. So, like a car junkyard here, save everything. <laughs>